Rimporcio, topvelocity.net. Do a pitch analysis here. Analysis here. James are going to pair them up with Bob Wheatley. We'll take them both out of their leg lifts. So Bob keeps that flexed leg, lift leg, more extended here with James. You can see Bob quickly does open his lift leg. That's something he's always challenged with. He's has very he was limit very limited in drive or hip rotation or hip mobility, so it was hard for him to counter rotate and he would open early. You can see the same thing here with James, but you can see a lot more already open foot position, even um, starting to be an open knee position. Usually when someone takes a more extended lift leg position as opposed to flexed, as long as you can keep your momentum moving, it can keep you closed. It's just in this case, James, you're not keeping your momentum moving so you're letting your lift leg just swing. So that lift leg being extended like that is only going to help you stay closed if you keep your hips moving forward and down at the same rate. So you can see right here before your back leg starts to drive and rotate, you get very much open and extended with your lift leg. You can see even though Bob's lift leg goes early, he still keeps it closed. He still doesn't allow it to reach out and disrupt or transfer his energy or his momentum early. So right before he lands, he's maintained good torsion in the drive leg to this point. You can see, James, you're, you're starting to lose torsion. So Bob, when he opens in, into drive here, he gets um, some pretty decent hip rotation into landing. You can see when you open and you drive, everything just continues to over rotate. So your front foot is landing way open. Bob's still closed. Therefore, your front knee is going to be open. So everything is opening. You really want to make sure, like we said, keeping your momentum going and you don't let this front foot and front knee turn open until just before landing. And the key to that is really sitting into this hip. A lot of people. Get don't understand the concept here, but the more you sit into this hip, the less this wants to open. That's why you have to keep your momentum going, because if your momentum stops, then you're going to swing open and shift out of that back hip. But you can see, because everything flies out and flies open very early, and then you land, your trunk is also open. So you can see Bob here is still closed with his glove side and your elbow is down and you're starting to show your chest to the target. You're also in external rotation at landing, so you're in early trunk rotation because everything swung uh, open very early due to the stop stopping mo momentum. So you can see Bob has decent forward trunk movement, uh, so he's getting a little bit more forward trunk tilt. Also, too, notice his front knee. Oh, look at how great the stability is in his front leg. Look at the stability in your front leg. We can see it moving, shifting forward. So you're losing energy. You're losing the ability to transfer all that leg power and momentum. So you can see at pitch release, your trunk is pretty much upright. You can see Bob at pitch release, good forward trunk position. So like if we look at your trunk orientation, if I can get it here. Yours is about, let's make sure this is right up. Yours is around 50. Let's see, Bob's is going to be around 36, which is pretty impressive. And the pitch release and almost getting an extended front leg into it. You can see very flex. So, your momentum stayed back here because you let your your lift leg reach out, pull you forward, then you didn't stabilize it. So all your momentum stayed behind here. You can see Bob's momentum is shifting really well over his front leg. That means it's gonna push up into the ball and he's gonna get a lot of that momentum and power into the ball. And you're gonna lose a lot of that. And that's gonna be a huge difference. You know, the better you can 
transfer your energy, stay closed, uh, to, to feel it, you know, well, the better you can power your momentum, stay closed, and then transfer your momentum all the way up your body like we see here with Bob, you're going to see a significant jump in velocity.